this is how you can make an advanced image generation command for free using your discord.js version 14 bot so let's go ahead and get started before i show you how to do this i'd like to say if you'd like to get access to the source code from this video or other videos on my channel you can do so by joining a subscription over on discord or a membership on youtube on discord if you get the god or custom bot tier you will get access to that source code and on youtube if you get the super god or custom bot tier you will also get access to that source code and of course on both platforms if you get the custom bot tier me and my team will code you a personalized custom discord bot if any of this is of interest to you go ahead and click the links in the description below to get started with this and let's go ahead and get into the video all right so we can go ahead and start by going over to community and we can go ahead and create image generate.js in here we can do const and we're going to get our slash command builder we can get our embed builder we can get our attachment builder and then we can do equals require and we can go ahead and get our discord.js package and then we can do const super agent equals require and we can go ahead and get our super agent package now if you do want to get this make sure you do mpmi super agent in your terminal if you don't do this this will not work all right so now we can go ahead and do our module.exports we can go in and open this up we're going to get our data which will be our new slash command builder then we can go ahead and set a name this is going to be image generate and we can go ahead and set a description. We can go ahead and say generate an image using AI. And then we can go ahead and add a string option. In here, we can do option arrow function option dot set name. This is going to be our prompt. And then we can go ahead and set a description. And we can go ahead and say the prompt for generating your image and then after doing that we can go ahead and set required to true then we can add a comma we're going to do async executes we can go ahead and get our interaction and we can go ahead and open this up and here we're actually going to go ahead and start by doing await interaction or apply and we can get content and i'm going to go ahead and get a loading emoji now keep in mind this is essentially like deferring a reply so the reason we're doing this is because this generation takes up to like a minute and a half maybe even two minutes so we want to go ahead and defer a reply but when doing this what we want to do is we we need to make sure that we can specify how long it's going to take so people don't think it didn't work and just move on. So we can go ahead and say loading your image and we can go ahead and say this can take up to five minutes and we're going to say five just in case it takes longer and we can also go ahead and set informal to true then we can do const and we're going to go ahead and get our options and we can set that equal to our interaction then we can go ahead and do const prompt equals options dot get to string and that is going to be our prompt then we can go ahead and actually generate the image so we can go ahead and do let image equals await super agent dot post and we can go ahead and get this back end so this is going to be the back end that we're going to use so this is going to be the link that you're going to need to right in here so just go ahead and write this exact same link in here um, and then after doing that you can go ahead and do dot send and we can go ahead and open this up we can do prompt and we can go ahead and open up our prompt within a string and after doing that we can add a semicolon there so using the package that we downloaded we're going to go ahead and post the prompt to the back end or the ai that we're going to be using to generate uh, and then right now we're going to go ahead and get that image back so that we can send it into an embed so we can do const buffer equals buffer dot form and we can go ahead and get image dot body dot images and we can go ahead and get zero so it's going to be the first image that pops up now keep in mind uh, i believe this generates a ton of images so you could go ahead and get multiple images if you'd like and put that into an embed but for me i'm just going to go ahead and get one and then we're going to go ahead and do base 64 as our buffer uh, so then after doing that we can go ahead and do const attachment and we can do equals new attachment builder and we can go ahead and get our buffer which is going to be our image essentially and we can go ahead and give it a name which is going to be image.png so that way we have our name for our embed instead of just sending it as a file then we can go ahead and write out our embed. So we can do const embed equals new embed builder. And we can go ahead and set a color. I'm going to go ahead and make this blurple. Then we can go ahead and set an image. So in here, I'm going to go ahead and get attachment. And we can go ahead and get forward slash forward slash. And we can go ahead and get image.png. So we're basically going to go ahead and get our attachment within the embed. Then we can actually go ahead and attach the attachment variable to our message when we go ahead and send it. So then we can go ahead and set a title and we can go ahead and say image based on and we can go ahead and do a colon we can do backslash tick we can go ahead and open this up we're also going to go ahead and get our prompt and we can finish that tick off then we can go ahead and set a timestamp just to make the embed look a little bit cleaner and we can actually go ahead and send this so we can do a wait interaction edit reply and we can go ahead and get content because we had content before so we have to set the content as nothing if we do not want our defer still in the embed then we can go ahead and get our embeds so we can get our embed 
and we're also going to go ahead and get files which is going to be attachment uh, and then we can go ahead and set it to informal um, but because our defer up here is already set to informal we don't actually have to do that it's already going to stay at informal all right so with that we are actually done with this entire command so we can go ahead and save the file restart the bot and test this out all right so over in the discord server we can go ahead and test this out now before we do there's a couple of things i need to mention so first this has no filter um, so what I mean by that is OpenAI has a filter uh, to block potentially NSFW images from being created. Um, this is no filter images, so uh, just be aware of that. That's why we're using Infermal, so it doesn't get displayed to the entire server. Uh, the other thing you could do is you could add filters using uh, includes for the string if you'd like to do that. Um, but for me, I'm just going to leave it as is uh, because the whole purpose of this video is generating images, not creating filters. Next, uh, this is not the most high quality of images. You're going to see that in a minute. It does generate pretty good images, but because it is a free backend, it is not going to be the most high quality as OpenAI would be or other image generation AIs that do cost money. All right, so now we can actually go ahead and run our command. So we can go ahead and get image generate. And I'm just going to go ahead and start off with a very simple prompt so we can get dog. Now, as you can see here, it's going to go ahead and send, and it's going to go ahead and say it's going to take up to five minutes. So because it's going to take so long, we can go ahead and generate some more images. So this one, we can do tree. And this time, we can go ahead and get ocean or something very, very simple like that. So now that all of these are loading, we can just go ahead and wait. Um, and then we can go ahead and see what it returns. Now, I'm going to keep it pretty simple for this tutorial because uh, I just want to show you how it works. But feel free to try and make very, very complicated images if you would like. I believe it should still work. And as as you can see here, the first image is actually going to go ahead and come in, and so is the second one. So we're going to go ahead and see image based on dog, and it's going to generate a pretty good dog here. Now, like I said before, the image quality isn't as good as it would be using a different platform, but it still does work, and it looks pretty good. And here's our other one. It's ocean, and that looks pretty good as well. And then the tree loaded here as well. Now, as you can see, this is not very good quality at all, but uh, it did generate all three exactly how it should. So that's how you can code a free image generator command for discord.js version 14 bot. If you do need any help with this, go ahead and join the server in the description below. And we'll be happy to help you out. And you might as well just join anyways because it is a pretty good coding community. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next video.